A former board member of a parent-teacher organization at the Tehachapi Uni Unified School District is being accused of embezzlement. Investigators believe the woman took nearly $50,000 from the organization. Eyewitness News reporter Raina Harvey met with the president of that group and has the latest on the missing money. Raina. David and Rochelle, the sheriff department tells me that woman is 39-year-old Melissa Fair. And while I'm told the school itself was not directly stolen from, the funds from that organization do go towards student needs. It's a shocking revelation that had parents and teachers stumped at the Cummings Valley Elementary School in Tehachapi. An estimated $50,000 stolen from under the parent-teacher organization's noses. We raise funds to help out the kids and we raise funds to help out the teachers and um, just kind of group the parents and the teachers together to make the school better for the kids. Tiffany Woldowski, the newest president of the parent-teacher organization at the elementary school says they discovered the missing thousands after a change in board members, which happens about every two years. I just took over this year. Um, when we did take over, we found some discrepancies. And with the tight-knit group that makes up the parent-teacher organization and the playground and classroom equipment that money goes towards, they were shocked. Just, I mean, hurt, I guess, and really um, confused. The person accused of swiping the cash is former board member of the PTO, 39-year-old Melissa Fair. Sergeant David Hubbard with the Kern County Sheriff Department tells me back in August of this year, deputies were made aware of the missing money and conducted an investigation. All clues pointed to Fair. They developed a probable cause um, in determining that uh, Ms. Fair was the most likely person that had committed that crime and they submitted it over to the district attorney's office to review it for charges. No arrests have been made as the DA is reviewing the case. Fair is no longer on the board and the parent-teacher organization is working on retrieving the money. We're just working through them, um, getting some stuff um, back and um, getting back on track and uh, we're doing really good. We've already had a few fundraisers this year and had a lot of involvement. Now I'm told by the Sheriff's Department you do not have to be a full-time staff member to be a part of the parent-teacher organization. Reporting in studio, Raina Harvey, Eyewitness News. And